Why airplanes are mostly white? Airplanes are mostly white. Oops, sorry, wrong picture. What I meant was airplanes were mostly white. While gazing at an airplane passing thousands of feet overhead or when you are just about to board a plane at the airport, have you ever noticed that vast majority of the airplanes are white? Sure, uh, some of them have stripes, decorations and names in different colors, but the base color behind these add-ons is almost always white. Is there a real reason for it? Let's find out in today's video why planes are mostly white. But before we begin, this is a very small YouTube channel and I need your help and support in helping the channel grow. So if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel with the bell notification. Really, it's a great help for small channels. Now you might have noticed at the start of the video, I said that most of the planes are colored white, though there are colored planes that are there all across the world. Multiple companies operate colored flights. but. That's only a handful of the companies. Majority of the companies operate white colored planes. Let's look at why it is so. Scientific or non-scientific, there are mainly three reasons for it. Reason number one, thermal advantage. The color white is a terrific reflector of sunlight and reflects almost all the light that falls on it. Unlike other colors which absorbs some of the light. This works on the same principle that we are asked to wear white clothes for summer to keep us cool. For most of the duration, airplane needs to stay in direct sunlight and it never gets any shade while on journey, also mostly while on airport. If you paint an airplane in a color other than white, it will absorb sunlight and heat up the body of the airplane, which is something that you really want to avoid. White, on the other hand, reflects that sunlight and avoids the gradual buildup of heat on the plane. Now this is a good thing, not only when the plane is in flight, but also when it's parked on the runway because it takes less time to cool down after sitting on the ground in a hot and sunny environment. This also helps in lesser fuel consumption while maintaining the inside temperature of the plane. So if you want better fuel efficiency, paint your plane white. Reason number two, easier inspection of cracks and dents. Now airplanes are regularly inspected for cracks, dents and any other forms of surface damage for obvious safety reasons. Nothing works better than the white when it comes to spotting a crack on the surface as the crack is almost always darker than white. Additionally, white also accentuates corrosion marks and oil leaks as they leave a dark colored trail. Plus, a white plane is easier to spot visually in the event of a crash or any other mishap, especially at night or in a massive body of water. The next obvious reason is the cost of painting. In pecuniary terms, the painting of an airplane is not like painting a fence. It requires a considerable investment both in terms of money, manpower and time. Painting a regular Airbus takes anywhere between 2 to 7 days depending on your budget. Plus, more paint on fuel sledge means more overall weight, which effectively translates to higher operating cost. And that means lower fuel efficiency. As an airline company, you would want to avoid that as much as possible. Traditionally, colored airplanes have lower resale value. If you have a colored plane parked in your own private hangar and you want to sell it, you should expect to make a little less than if it was a white plane. You see, the goal of the airline company is to minimize the cost as much as possible. Buying a colored airplane would mean that they would likely have to paint it white for the various reasons mentioned earlier. Hence, it makes perfect sense that the company would pay you a lower price for your fancy colored airplane. The final reason is that white doesn't fade. When flying at high altitudes completely exposed to various atmospheric conditions, colored airplanes tend to fade and thus require a lot of paint jobs to maintain their aesthetic appeal. A white colored plane on the other hand doesn't appear significantly different even after spending a considerable amount of time in the air. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So if there is no problem with the existing white color, then why bother fixing it at all? And that leads to better cost efficiency for the airplane company. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment in both YouTube and Facebook. The channel needs your support to grow. Thank you.